We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. So if you follow me on social media, then you guys know I'm back here in Minneapolis. I'm back doing my voiceover, spending time with the boys. So anyways, everybody and their mama want me to jump on camera yesterday and talk about the whole Remy Ma situation. If you guys do not know, last night was crazy on social media, okay? So Remy Ma decided to release a second Nicki Minaj diss track, and this was called Another One. She decided to take a page out of Drake's book, but unfortunately for her, this was no back-to-back. -back. This was back-to-damn whack, okay? Yes, it was. And when I tell you social media went in on Remy Ma, they drug her. She even took Nicki Minaj's picture that she posted on her Instagram page she took that and she used that as the album cover and she wrote deceased on there on top of that Remy Ma was also throwing shots at Nicki Minaj and calling her Spongebob and posting throwback pictures of Nicki Minaj on her Instagram page and then what happened is that a lot of the barbs came for Remy and they're like you know what you don't want to go there with the throwback pictures and they started tagging her in very unflattering pictures of Remy Ma to the point where Remy Ma turned off her notifications she turned off her tags and then she ended up deleting the picture that she had posted of Nicki Minaj so the whole situation was a hot damn mess when I tell you I am so glad that little Kim decided a long time ago okay to not involve herself in this beef because had little Kim jumped on the track or involved her herself she would have felt the backlash of all these people on social media the whole thing was so crazy even Rod Digger and I ain't heard from her in a long time even Rod Digger had some words of advice for me mom and basically told her to stop while she's ahead you know let it go sis and then when people started coming at Rod Digger like, why aren't you helping Remy Ma? You know, you should jump on the track with her. And Rod Digger was like, this don't have nothing to do with me. I'm a fan of hip hop like everybody else. I'm just sitting here sipping tea, watching all the damn fuckery unfold, okay? So Rod Digger was not here for that at all. So now after Remy Ma got drug up and down social media, she ended up taking a Snapchat and it almost looked like she was ready to cry. It was really crazy. This video's going viral all over Instagram. Remy Ma is saying that Nicki Minaj is doing things behind the scenes to play with her money, and she's really upset. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video of Remy Ma talking on Snapchat. Check this out really quick. I need to understand. Motherfuckers. Sitting over there, trying to make phone calls, trying to fuck with my fucking bag. It's corny, ma. Now I'm done. Now I'm gonna go see a movie with my husband. All right, so you guys just saw Remy Ma speaking about the situation. So she didn't look too happy. Like I said, it looked like she wanted to cry. So personally, I think that Remy Ma was really upset in that video because she really thought folks were going to like another one and it kind of backfired on her. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out the memes, the comments, the videos. When I tell you social media was lit last night, Remy Ma is trash was trending number one worldwide. The Remy Ma parties over was also trending. So folks were going in on her all night. This situation situation was a hot damn mess check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary
could just look right in here, uh -huh. look in there, and you see that you're doing too much. Nikki, are you having a good time turning up down here in Paris with us? Nikki, you better be having fun. We're out here turning up. I love this song by Drake. Oh, my God. Yo, you know Nikki's having a good time turning up. Now, here come this bitch. What bitch? Oh. Yo, Nikki, what up, SpongeBob? You're my son, bitch. Yo, I remember saying, free Remy, free Remy. Now, I wish you'd go back to jail, bitch. Yo. Nikki, don't let her spoil what we're doing. We're turning up. Don't pay attention to her. I'm gonna keep killing you lyrically, bitch. That's why you won't reply, because I'm killing you. You can't fuck with me, Nikki. You're not a lyricist. You're not. You better get Drake to help you. Okay, um, at this point, Remy, I, I feel like you're hating. Me too. Yes, bitch. Worried about if my butt's fake. Worried about you, bitch, us straight. You gotta come out of this club sometimes and come back to New York, bitch. And when I finally see you in the streets, I'm gonna fuck you up, Nikki. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, the videos, and what folks had to say. Like I said, everybody and their damn mama had an opinion. I was getting tagged in so much stuff. It was crazy yesterday. You know, so me personally, this whole situation was crazy, but I had to be honest. I personally feel like there was no need for another diss track unless Nicki Minaj had replied back to Remy. Now, I remember when it first came out, there were rumblings that there was a second diss track, and people were even saying back then, she better not release it unless Nicki Minaj says something. It makes no sense for me to keep going at Nicki Minaj because now she's just gonna look like a so-called bully okay so my thing is this y'all know me I don't have no dog in this fight but the point is Sheether to me was fire I stand by that I stand by that video Sheether was fire that was one of the hardest diss tracks I have heard in a long long time but another one was definitely not needed I just didn't like it I didn't like the flow. I didn't like her style. It just did not sound like she put the same effort into another one as she did into Sheether. But with that being said, I still don't feel bad for Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj is the same person who's always starting shit with people online, who's always starting shit with other celebrities that she knows that are not gonna say anything to her. If you guys remember, I did a video just about two weeks ago about Nicki Minaj going off on Giuseppe Zanotti and basically sending all her barbs to go and attack him because he had a name of her shoe on his website and it was all this drama then we all remember the whole infamous Nicki Minaj versus Miley Cyrus and now back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press Miley what's good and then when she tried to come from Mariah Carey and Taylor Swift so for Nicki Minaj to act like she's winning because she's in Paris and she's supposedly unbothered because she's hanging out with Bottom and wearing his dresses and hanging out with models and you know she's in Paris doing her thing and she's at all the fashion shows and she's acting so unbothered I'm not buying that because somebody who's really unbothered they ignore what the naysayers say somebody who's really unbothered they don't go at MTV when MTV nominates Taylor Swift for a category that she wasn't nominated in. The problem is Nicki Minaj is always bothered but she's only bothered with certain people. It's funny that when it comes to Remy Ma all of a sudden she's unbothered, she's way above her, why even respond? A person who's really unbothered does what I've been doing on YouTube for years ignoring the naysayers, ignoring the haters, and ignoring the bitter betties, okay? That's somebody who's really unbothered. I strive to be on Beyonce's level of unbotheredness because Beyonce is somebody who I feel is truly winning because she never replies to negativity she doesn't care what folks have to say about her Beyonce focuses on being the best in the game and doing her and getting her damn checks if anything the beehive will respond for her before Beyonce ever responds Beyonce is the true epitome of somebody who is truly unbothered you would never hear Beyonce really addressing a hater or addressing any type of situation she's about her music and her child and that's it you know what I'm saying whereas Nicki Minaj she addresses situations all all the time but it's funny that when it comes to this whole Remy Ma situation all of a sudden she's quiet she's unbothered she's doing her she's shooting music videos she's way better than Remy she's too good to reply back to her she's not gonna give Remy Ma any shine you know so I just find the whole situation just funny so to me personally I do not think that Nicki Minaj is winning in this situation her being so called unbothered not responding to me just comes off as just being scary because again if this was anybody else she would reply back when everything went down with little Kim she didn't reply back right away but then she came back with Roman's revenge and she basically went in on little Kim so yeah she could still reply back to Remy Ma and especially being that Remy Ma really messed up by releasing another one this could be what Nicki Minaj needed to come back into the game and basically go in on Remy 
But who knows? It's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out. I do believe Remy when she says that Nicki Minaj is behind the scenes playing with her money. I can definitely see that happening because Nicki Minaj, like it or not, she wields a lot of power. And you have to realize that people who run social media, it's not the damn adults in their damn 20s and 30s. The people who run social media, who make things trend, are the young people. I'm telling you, within 20 minutes, Remy Ma is trash was the number one trending topic worldwide. Them damn fandoms came together. Together, and they went in on Remy Ma, okay? So it's the young people, and Nicki Minaj has been able to tap into that, and that's why she's as successful as she is. That's why she's as popular as she is, because the young people consider what she does real rap, and they really love and idolize her. You know what I'm saying? And Nicki Minaj has been able to tap into that. So I can definitely see, because Nicki Minaj has such a young fan base, and they really, really love and enjoy her music, I can definitely see her making calls behind the scenes and saying, yo, if you work with Remy, if you do this with Remy, I'm not fucking with you. And a lot of brands are scared about that because then that affects their coins. Because Remy don't have no huge fan base like that. She has a fan base, but most of her fan base are people who are in their 30s and up. Remy Ma does not have a young fan base like that. Nicki Minaj has those young kids on lock, and that's why they're going so hard for her. That's why all these fans were able to come together and basically drag Remy Ma. So I can believe her when she says that she feels like there's things being done behind the scene. You know, it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out, but I have to be honest another one just wasn't hot to me to me personally didn't even come off like a diss track it came off more like a taunt that's something that she should have put out first and then came out with sheether you cannot come out with sheether and then turn around and do another one it should have been the other way around that's how drake did it he did the little radio friendly you know pokey pokey diss first and then he came back with back to back where he went in you know so i just feel like she really messed up there and sometimes when you're winning you gotta know when to stop you gotta know when you're ahead and the fact that she didn't respond to her clearly made Remy Ma the winner but now that Remy Ma put out another diss track now folks are giving her the side eye like okay now you're trying to eat off Nikki now you're just trying to use Nikki for fame so a lot of people are assuming a lot of things but I just don't think the second diss track really really helped her at all so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Remy Ma dropping another diss track last night towards Nicki Minaj did you guys like another one how did you guys feel about it and then also how do you feel about the fact that Nicki Minaj still is not responding and she's basically acting like she's so unbothered and she's so above this but do you agree with me that if somebody is really unbothered they do a Beyonce and they don't address any of the bullshit they don't pick and choose what they want to address if they're truly unbothered so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <music> Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.